Let's take a look at app protection with Zscaler Private Access. So we come across to administration and we've got our application segments and we can see that I've got my Apache server here that's configured as an application segment and if we move to inspection we can see that Apache is enabled for inspection. We click um, edit, we tick the inspect application um, to enable the application to be inspected for security vulnerabilities. You see these are server vulnerabilities as well as client vulnerabilities. Okay, so if we then take a look at administration and look at inspection controls, we have a number of the OWASP top 10 predefined controls for things like PHP injection, remote code execution, you can see all of the vulnerability codes um, and then which inspection profiles those are linked to. We also have custom controls that we have written um, specifically for log4j where we can have a reg regular expression in a query string or we can look at um, headers um, specifically in this case the user agent header or query string injection or directory traversal. So if we want to add a custom control, we give it a name. We say if it's in the request or the response, so in this case it's a request, and we'll say request header, and we could give it a description. Click next, and we're going to give a header name, and this is a free form, X, header and we're going to filter based on the size equals less than or equals greater than or equals and a regular expression or it contains starts with or ends with for the match click next <laughs> And what do we want to do? If we see that it's a critical vulnerability and we want to block with a specific error code or we want to redirect to a URL. We click next. We click next, we review and we say, this looks right. If this header, we see an X header with a value of JNDI, then it's a critical vulnerability, and we're going to um, redirect to www.zscaler.com. We also have WebSocket vulnerabilities, and if we see um, protocol and framing errors, or other WebSocket request errors, we can block based on those. So we have a number of different controls, and then we have inspection profiles they're predefined, the OWASP top 10, which has 207 controls in it, um, specific log4j vulnerabilities. Um, I've got monitor only as well as prevent, and one that I've created myself, which includes, which is inspection, plus the four custom controls. So all of those, um, so all of those OWASP top 10, vulnerabilities as well as the custom controls that I've previously created. So we have an inspection profile that maps controls to a profile and now we need to build a policy. So I go from administration and I scroll down and I go to my inspection policy. If we expand this rule that I have here it says if the application segment is Apache then I should inspect it and I should use the inspection profile that I'd previously defined. So I can select any number of those um, inspection profiles but I'm going to use this inspection one that I defined and we can do this by segment or segment group. We can also add criteria to decide whether or not we should do this for specific users or specific attributes 
or specific client types. So how does this look? So let's come across to our Safari browser. So how does this look? So let's come across to our Safari browser and we'll go to HTTPS apache.welshgeek.net. In this case, I'm using my browser-based access, but remember, this will apply regardless of using browser-based access or client-based access. So I have to sign in to access browser-based access through SAML, and now I have access to the application. So if I come across to my clipboard, let's try a log4j vulnerability. And we get the 403 forbidden for that log4j vulnerability as a query string injection. And we can also see a couple of other ones, uh, a directory traversal, this is a custom one. Again, forbidden or a uh, script injection vulnerability as well. If we now come across to the administration interface, we can go to the dashboard, we can select inspection and we can see the vulnerabilities. So here are the violations that have occurred. We can see the types of transaction. These have all been critical vulnerabilities. And we can view those specific logs. And we see the transaction information that it triggered on the Apache policy for the specific user, the inspection profile that triggered it, and we can see details about the control that triggered, and full information about the log that occurred. And we can stream all of this information via the log stream um, into our SIM source solution.